Hello, good morning, year two students. Um, welcome to today's lesson. Uh, today being 10th of January, 2022, our lesson for today is on verbs. Before we go into our lesson for today, let's remember our mission and vision at Brighton International Academy. Here at Brighton, we want to create a modern and an integrated personality for our students within a secured environment, which helps motivate moral values and scientific merit our key futures. Our vision is to provide an education sustained by values in order to build the nation. Talking about values, our value for the week is still on respect, okay? So we always remember that when we give respect, we aim respect. The lesson objectives for today is that at the end of today's lesson, our students will be able to write a proper heading for a list by making two lists, okay? Now we're going to um, show understanding of verbs by matching verbs to words with similar meaning. Okay, that being said, let's look at the vocabulary words for the week. Remember, number one, pussycat, honey, above, guitar, beautiful, elegant, charming, shilling, means, edge. Okay, these 10 words are our spelling words for the week. All right, moving into what we have today. So like I say, we're going to be talking about um, our learning verbs today. So girls or boys, um, what comes to your mind when you hear the word verb? What comes to your mind? Okay, I guess right, right? Action word, okay? When you do actions, like when you eat, when you read, when you sleep, when you swim, when you dance, when you talk, when you drive, okay? All these are verbs. All right, so moving ahead, Let's look at what today's lesson is all about. Today's lesson, we are going to cover lists. Okay, we're going to make lists, two lists actually, and we're going to learn how to make heading for each list. Then we are going to be identifying some verbs, and also we are going to match verbs to words with similar meaning. Okay, now let's go into what we have proper. So let's, can we open the student's book page 36? Oh, sorry about that. I didn't um, tell us our resources for today. We're going to be using the student book, the workbook and the notebook, okay? So have your notebook, have your student's book and your um, workbook. Then with your pencil and your eraser with you. Okay, so from, Students book page 36. Um, let's read the first question. It says, who did the things below? Was it Emma or the thing? Okay, girls or boys. Um, what here is just trying to talk about is, remember last week we read the story about um, kind Emma, right? Okay, so because we read the story about kind Emma, these are the things they did in the story. Okay, Emma and the thing. Remember from the story um, of kind Emma, the, there are some things they did. So we're going to put them in two lists. So this is how I'm going to make the list. First of all, um, remember to write the student's book, the page of the student's book. Okay, so we we'll page words, page 36. Then go ahead to write today's date, which is um, 10th of um, January, 2022. Okay, so I'm going to be um, writing number one, answering number one, and we're making lists. We're going to make two lists. The first list will be, the heading for the first list will be things Emma did, Okay, then I'll come down to write things. The thing 
did. Okay, so these are the heading of our two lists. So number one, what did Emma do from the from um, the story? Opened the door. Yes, it was Emma. So I'm going to put it here. Opened the door. Number two, she poked the fire. Okay, number three, she left the room. She left the room. Okay, so these are the things Emma did. Now, let me, let's talk about the things that the thing did. The thing, number one, squatted in. Number two, stayed hidden. Number three, scrubs the floor. Finally, number four, paid with kind armor. Okay, so this is list number one. The title is Things Emma Did, and then Things The Thing Did. All right, so this one being answered, okay, I'm going to go over to answering question number two. So question number two say, write the verbs uh, from the question in a list. So how do I also make this a list? I write number two, question, for, question number two, right? I go ahead to write verbs, which is a title. Remember, all our list has, should have a title. So the verbs here are opened, scuttled, poked, stayed, scrubbed, uh, left, and finally, stay the game, okay? So these are the verbs from this list. Okay, so number three says, read the words in the first box, find words in the second box that have a similar meaning. Okay, so we should write them. For example, share means to divide things, okay. So that being said, um, to run quickly means what? It means to scuttle, right? So I'm going to write it to scuttle. So write it out. You're going to write it out for me. Don't make it like this. You have to write it out in your notes, okay? Like how they wrote it here. Share means what? To divide. So you're going to write it like this. So you write scuttle means to run. Push a point a pointed object into someone or something. It means to poke, okay? Share slightly because you feel cold. Okay, to shake slightly, it means to shiver. To shine brightly means to glow. And divide things means what? So we're going to all write it like this. All right, moving ahead, let's, uh, let's go to the workbook. Workbook pager. Workbook page, page 26. Now, read the sentences and circle the verbs. Of course, we all know the verbs here, right? So we're going to circle. This is what? Lived, opened, poked, left, put, okay? So these are what the verbs. Now, number two says, write the verbs to complete the sentences below. Okay, we are going to write, the fire dashed and the water was hot. The fire did what? The fire glowed, right? What happened to the fire for it to? Okay. The 
fire glowed. Because it has to shine brightly, right? The fire glowed. Was it glowed? Okay. Um, let's see the fire bond. Good. The fire bond. Okay, for the water too. Then the floor was what? The floor was. The floor was scrubbed. The floor was scrubbed. Okay, and the little tiny thing did what with Emma? The tiny thing stayed with Emma. Okay, now choose one of the verbs from the box and write a sentence. Okay, so we can say Emma left the room. Emma left the room. So that is it. And write a sentence. So we put a full stop because it's a sentence. Emma left the room. Okay. So that being said, um, let's see our closure. Okay. So I'll first to close, I want you to summarize what you understood today. Tell us what verbs are. And then finally, you do this word search or word search. Okay, we search for these uh, verbs. Okay, so try to do it by yourself. I'm going to send it on Fedena. So we try to do it. Okay. All right, girls, that is it for today. Thank you.